In the last episode of FIFA 23 career mode, we got off to an absolute flyer with a debut goal. Only negative side is that we only drew the first two games of the season. We've played a variety of roles so far, including left wing back, left midfield and striker. I appear to be suited more to being a striker. Let's get back into FIFA and let's see where the manager decides to play us. Remember, if you like this content, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out. Let's get into some FIFA. So welcome back to some more FIFA 23 career mode, everyone. We're hoping to build on from the last episode where we got a debut goal and an 8.5 match rating. We start today's episode off with three skill points to spend. I'm thinking I might put some more on stamina, you know. I'm going to put one point on stamina because I just felt like last episode we were running out of stamina a little bit too easily. Passing doesn't seem to be an issue just yet. I'm going to put another three on it. Well, another point on uh, acceleration because that quickness off the mark is really going to help me get past defenders. And just going off the last episode, I'm thinking that my player's dribbling is my guy's major strong point, to be honest. So that's three more training sessions complete. And if you look to the top left corner, you will see my manager bar is basically full. Meaning I'm a nailed on starter in the first team. Guys, honestly, make sure you are doing these training challenges because they give you so much XP towards your skill points to improve your player. And they also massively boost your chances of starting games in the first team if you perform really well. Now our next game is against Sheffield Wednesday who also drew their first game of the season. It's our first home game so we're going to want to be pressing in front of our home crowd. Let's see what position we're going to be playing in. So we're going to be starting as a striker in this game. If the next couple of games go really, really well, I'm going to bump the difficulty up from world class to legendary. So our first storm game of the season, we're going to be really trying to impress these home fans. Two League One giants in real life, Bolton Munders and Sheffield Wednesday. Two clubs who are far, far, far too big for League One. I do actually fancy Sheffield Wednesday to win League One this season in real life. So a result today will be quite good. So we're going to get things on the way here at the University of Bolton Stadium. With me taking the kickoff. Let's have another touch of the ball. A nice little switch of play to start the game off. Oh, run the ball back high. Oh, we're in. We're going to get an early goal on the debut. I don't... Oh, I've missed. But it's gone in anyway. Second early lead from some forward pressure. Kieran Lee against his former club. Kieran Lee in real life is actually a Sheffield Wednesday legend. They absolutely love him. Really good pressure from me. And I think that's Kyle Dempsey who win the ball back high. We should do better. We miss an actual... A bit of a sitter to be fair. But it falls back to the path of Kieran Lee. Who smashes it into the back of the net. I'm just going to try a little bit in the with the beer pro camera angle. So I'm just going to try the classic be a pro camera now for the rest of this game because I want to make it a bit more immersive and feel like I'm actually controlling the one player. This is a bit more difficult to be fair because I can't see the entire pitch. Yep, I'll have that in the middle. Chance to shoot here. That's a good save by the goalkeeper. That we're just going to nestle into the bottom corner if he didn't get down and catch that. Chance to shoot here, maybe. Oh, that's a good save by the keeper. Oh, looking for that elusive home goal. We'd love to get a goal on our home debut. Oh, that's a poor ball. What were I doing there? If they score from this now, that'd be my fault. Oh, they've got a decent chance as well. It's well blocked. Oh, let's give it straight back to him. Jesus, Sheffield Wednesday knocking on the door a bit here. I'm going to win that. Ah, well out. Oh, dear. Good save, keeper. Got an idea for a ball. Good ball. I'm in. No one else in the box, though. Chance. Oh, it's gone in. First stone goal on the debut. Keeper had to be doing better there, though. It's gone straight through his hands. Love a little cutback. Defender overcommits and a smash across the keeper into the beautiful net tension. From this angle, we'll see if keeper should have saved it. Oh, it's gone straight through his hands. Should definitely be saving that, but that's two goals now in two games. Our first goal at the University of Bolton Stadium, which we will definitely, definitely take. And we have definitely deserved that. We've been getting in all the good positions. We've had all the ball, and it's looking like we actually could become the next Nat Loftus at Bolton Wanderers. One thing I am pretty wary of, though, at the minute is my stamina. Like, I need to keep improving my stamina because I'm just getting knackered every game, honestly. So, Sheffield Wednesday will get us on the way here for the start of the second half. And all we need to do, really, is just keep order this lead. It's been 2 now. It's been pretty comfortable. Roulette. Ah, oh, it's... Try getting a bit too fancy though. Should have maybe released the ball. I'm, I'm going on a bit of a... Oh no. Wednesday could score here. Oh, that were close. That were close. I feel like we're giving Wednesday a bit of a path back into the game. I need to be a bit more conservative in possession. Maybe that means I stop going on my darting runs. Back behind if need. It's a nice play. Got it back. Could I get a second? Oh, we've got a second. Oh, the game's froze again. <laughs> Look, well, at least I know I've scored anyway. Fucking hell. You just ruined a good goal for me there again. Fuck's sake. Well, we've scored again. 
We're 3-0 up in the game. And now we can actually have a proper look at the goal. We skip past two defenders. And we smash it across the... Oh, that's a brilliant finish. Right into the top corner. Keeper never saving it. The game might have froze. Don't give a shit. We'll take it. Now we're on a hat-trick at home. Imagine if we could get a hat-trick on our first home game of the season. I know I said I want to be a little bit more conservative and try and just see the game out, but no, I want the hat-trick. And again, I'm in. It's an hat-trick. This is it. It's an hat-trick. A debut hat-trick. We are on path to being a club legend. Look at this for football. What a through ball that is. Brilliant run. A little finesse into the corner. Oh, that's a brilliant finish. Oh, that is a, such a good finish. And the through ball from Sadlier there. What a ball that were. So we have now scored a hat-trick on our home debut. I'm going to have to put the difficulty up, I think. Four goals in two home league games. I think, yeah, that's a bit too easy. Next game, we're going to try legendary. And I bet you it's the most boring game of football ever. That is my only... Um, Oh, that's that. Wednesday could score. They've missed another really, really good chance. I do feel like if I pump the difficulty up too high, the games could become very boring with not a lot of goals. A lot of nil-nils, maybe just one-nils. And that's something that I really don't want to happen. I can get a four for you. Play me in. Wait for a dink. Oh! Oh! That one nearly absolutely gorgeous. Get into him, lads. Not let him shoot. A Wednesday at the post. Off the ball today, we have been terrible. Like, they have made at least five or six pretty clear chances that they should have been scoring. Just a good job, but I'm the best striker in world football. Oh, really? That's a great ball. Go on, Dion. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is unbelievable. What a goal, Dion Charles, honestly. Just look at this from Dion, though. Sends the defender for an hot dog. Levers it across the keeper. Never being saved. 5-0. What a first game of the season for us. So a 5-0 win to start the season and a hat-trick in our first game in front of our home supporters. You just literally could not get a better home debut. Give me that match ball. 9.8 match rating. Three goals, one assist. Five goal involvements in our first two games of the season. Yeah, I'm going to bump the difficulty up to legendary, I think. So with the hat-trick and the training drills, I'm now at max. I can be in the top left manager bar, which is can't really ask so much more, really, and three more skill points to spend. Oh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one on shot power. And I'm gonna put one on dribbling. So one on dribbling, one on shot power. Just become a more complete attacking player. So up next we have a Carabao Cup tie at home to Millwall. Millwall are in the championship. This is gonna be our first game on legendary, and let's just see if it really massively just affects the entertainment levels of the game. So despite the fact we've got pretty not the best stamina we are starting the game, which is, I'll take it like, but hopefully I get subbed off to save some energy for the next upcoming league game. Let's get into it and see if we can match the hat-trick we scored in the last game. Another own game, another chance to impress our home supporters. A little nice little banner of Kyle Dempsey there. He's a class player in real life, to be fair. Kyle Dempsey. So, a bit of a stern test here on our jump up to legendary, playing against their championship side in Millwall, and a decent championship side at that as well. Trying to see if it break forward. Really good burst of pace. That's what I've used the skill points and acceleration for. There's no one forward. Shots. Oh, it's in. It's better to find its way through the goalkeeper. We could not have asked for a better start to our life as a Bolton player. Just a simple counter-attack. A burst of pace on the wing. That's why I put the points into acceleration. And we smash it across the keeper. Curling wide back into the side netting. Never being saved. And we lead 1-0. And we've scored yet again. That's a good ball. Oh, let's try cutting it back. No one there. Dion needs to get in the box more and give me a lift. He's never in the box when I get the ball in these wide areas. I know we're 1-0 up, but just going off the start of this game, I think Millwall have definitely been the better side. It's done a little freeze again. Oh, and they're in here. Oh, that's a good save by Dixon. In real life, he'd never save it. He's one of the worst goalkeepers I've ever seen. That's a good ball. Millwall are in again here. That's a really nice pass. This really should be one all. It is one all. To be fair, that was a really well-worked goal from Millwall. Just look at the pass here. That's a great ball. Cuts it back. Completely unmarked. Hits it, posting in. No, I'm pressuring me. I'm going to go for one of these. <laughs> what a finish. Oh, my God. What an absolute screamer. That's my first goal with the new driven shot. Watch this. 22 yards out. 119 mile an hour. Curls through defenders' legs. Oh, that is an absolute scorcher. And we retake the lead through. A 20-yard absolute screamer. That new driven shot. 
That's the first one I've done that's actually gone in. That's a chance to make it two all straight away. Good save, keeper. This is actually a really entertaining cup side, to be fair. So we go in at half-time 2-1 up. A brilliant solo goal on the left from us, taking the team on, smashing it across the keeper at the near uh, far post and scoring. And then our first glimpse of what the driven shot can do, 20 yards out, absolute scorcher into the bottom corner. We'll take the hat. So let's get straight into the second half. We have got the kickoff, defending a one-goal lead. My st I'm, I'm keeping an eye on my stamina. I really, I'd, if I'm going to be starting the next league game, I, I hope it's not too low because... Oh, this is a chance to all. Dixon. Honestly, Dixon is not this good in real life. If this was real life, he would not have saved any of these. The lame score. Dixon is keeping us in this game at the minute. So into the 58th minute and... If I'm honest with you, it's been such a good game of football. I think Millwall, the more likely to score the... Oh my, this is a good chance. That's a good cutback and that's a great goal. That's two really, really good goals from Millwall. Both exactly the same. Break down the left-hand side, cut it back across and someone scores in the penalty spot. One major problem with this game, I I'm playing it on PC at the minute and honestly, it's in a really bad state on PC. Like The game is constantly freezing for me. About three or four times per game, it is freezing. Mainly on career mode. You have to do the secure boot shit on PC to actually get on the game. Yeah, just the state of the actual state of the game on PC at the minute is pretty awful. The actual gameplay itself is probably my favourite since FIFA 14. It's just constantly freezing. Like I don't understand what's making. Oh, as I'm saying that, Millwall, Millwall could score here, and the three two up. They've turned it round. Our defence is so poor. Honestly, it is so poor. Our defence. Look at that torch. So easily be past him. Doesn't want to put a foot in. And we're now three two down. That's a nice turn. I've got to score. I've missed. Oh, I had to score. I should have gone for the dink. M Millwall have really shown the, that they're a championship side today. We've not been able to cope with their attack. And, and they're going to get a four for you. Good save. Counter time. You've got to release that ball sooner. Oh, my God. The AI. I really have not got the stamina for a counter attack like, but... Ah, oh, it's game over. Concede from a corner, 4-2 down. Regardless of championship, if not, we should not be conceding 4 at all. And that's a good ball in. Everyone just misses it. It's straight at the keeper, and it's going to be game over. Go on, Dapo. Play it. Oh, it's such a bad ball. Faz, just make sure you've... Finish it. Oh, I missed another sitter. Oh, my God. I missed another sitter. I missed another sitter. I missed another sitter. Let's get a ball in. Attack it, attack it, attack it, attack it. We do. Oh, he's off the line. Back out. Back in. That's a decent ball. Oh. And it's going to be a defeat. To be fair, I think we give a really good account of ourselves against a pretty decent Millwall side. They've really showed their attacking quality in the second half of the game. And, you know, if I go from 2 1 up at half time to lose 4 2, not really good enough, but. For the performance, I will take definitely the performance. We had a good personal game. So an 8.8 .8 match rating of two goals scored. That's taken us to seven goal involvements this season. Even on the increased difficulty of Legendary, we played quite well today. Look at this with a new driven shot. No one might getting close to me. Bang. Look at that for a finish, though. So after very, a very disappointing game against Millwall in a 4-2 loss, we're back in the league with a game away at Fleetwood Town. A bit of a Lancashire derby. No, not really too disheartened by the Millwall performance. I think on a personal level, we were really, really good. Just defensively, the under does too many times, really showed their quality. I am experiencing a lot of issues with this game at the minute. We're just freezing. Um, the game doesn't crash. It just freezes for like 15, 20 seconds and it continues again. It's a bit weird, but hopefully when the game is like fully released, uh, yeah, send out a patch and get that fixed pretty quickly. So we are back playing as a striker alongside Dion Charles. This is our full strength first team, just like Kieran Sadley is starting at right wing back instead. I think after this game, we will probably start simulating some of the games just to try and get through the seasons a little bit quicker. Otherwise, it's going to end up being like 25 episodes a season, which I really don't want. Um, so, so contradicting styles in this game, to be fair, they're playing a 4-3-3 wide with wingers and we're playing a 5-3-2 narrow formation. Let's see if we can carry on our amazing start to the season and try and rectify the wrongs created against Millwall. I want to try and get score at least one goal. Let's get into the game. Played in our away kit. Let's get our win, lads. Come on. Paddy Lane to put the ball in. It's a free header and it's a good save. That's the first chance of the game. Right, counter time now. Bombing it down the wing. No one really forward. Cut inside. 
Oh, that's a nice ball to Dion. Gives it back. Oh, I've missed an absolute sitter. Oh, I've ballooned it over the bar. That had to go in. The ball was bobbling when I hit it. That is so close. I mean, acres here. Oh, score, Dion. Oh, what a finish. What a finish, Dion Charles. What a really, really well-worked goal. Win the ball back high. Lovely little through ball to Dion. Makes no mistake. Levers it bottom corner. Clap for us. Text the defender out of the game. Oh, that's a lovely finish from Dion. 1 0 away from home. I'm going to the ball wide. Check back. Pass back. There we go. Oh, he's made us. He's messed it up. Oh, my God. That were a good. Right. It's all right. We've got a corner. Bit of height on it. Oh, it's in. What an header. What happened to the keep? What happened to the defenders? Dion scored again. What were the defenders doing there? It's 2 0. The lads. Look at the lads. The lads. That was a perfect corner. Do you know what? I've been putting the corners in perfectly. Look at this for a ball in. Right on the six-yard box. Oh, brilliant finish from Dion. Keeper, no chance. That is a really, really good goal. That's another really nice ball. It could be in here. Get back, lads. Ah, oh, what a waste. What a complete waste. He's not happy with himself, is he? Nice ball. He's got one man to beat. Oh, what a miss. I've missed another sitter. I've missed yet another sitter. That was beautiful play between me and Dion Charles. And I just clipped the outside of the post. Oh, I really should have a goal to my name so far this game. That's two absolute sitters that I've missed. This is a nice football list from Fleetwood, who I've definitely got back into the game in the last couple of minutes. That's a good save. Rebound falls straight back to the Fleetwood player. And we have conceded right on the stroke of half time, which is never a good time to concede. It's a good reaction save, but the ball just falls straight back to him. I think it's Callum Morton in the goal. After what's been a really encouraging first half, we find ourselves only winning 2-1. Still in the lead, though. Let's look to build on that in the second half, and let's get the three points in the bag. So we're going to get things on the way in the second half. Um, our link-up play with Dion Charles today has been absolutely on another planet. For the gap, all we're in. That is lovely football. I'm a shot. Oh, we score. The hardest chance of the lot we managed to put in the back of the net. Jump into the away fans. The hardest chance we've had so far today we've managed to put in the back of the net. But the two easy chances we miss all come from a brilliant ball from sadly a semi away on the right hand side. And this is how I wanted to be scoring my goals this season from the wings. I've decided to be a left winger for this reason. 3 1 up, two goal lead restored. I know Fleetwood making silly mistakes. Back for a turn. Oh, good save, goalkeeper. I can do it all. Oh, see you later, lad. Ooh. The driven shot again. That really was not far away. So 3-1 with 20 minutes to go. We've been by far the better side in the second half. I mean, again, I could score here. Oh, I thought I'd got past both of them then. Oh, that's good football from Fleetwood. Oh, it's gone straight through Trafford's hands. It's 3-2. That was really poor from Trafford. Watch this. It's a nice little back heel. As a shot, it's straight at him. Oh, that's poor. He's, he's just a, it's just a simple gather that for James Trafford. I don't know what's gone on there. Let's just keep the ball nicely now. And that's a lovely away in 3-2. Another really, really good away performance for us. Two assists and a goal. A second assist. Ten goal involvements already. We've been absolutely amazing today, and I really will take that. Great result for us. 3-2. Seven points now on the board after three games, literally. Couldn't have asked for a better start to the season. So as you can see, a 9.3 match rating. That is absolutely class. A goal, two assists, two goals for Dion Charles. Really, really good day at the office for the two front men. So I'm going to call this episode there. I really hope you enjoyed. We've had an absolutely excellent start to the season with 10 goal involvements, I think, in five competitive games. We really, really could not have asked for a better start to the season. If you enjoy this content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.